know, our hearts and prayers um, have to go out to those folks that uh, lost loved ones and uh, for the recovery of those that are, that are still injured out there. Heavy hearts a day after a devastating B-17 plane crash at Bradley Airport. Investigators are getting a close look at what's left of that burned plane as loved ones cope with terrible losses. Good evening and thanks for joining us on this Thursday. I'm Dennis House. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. Today we're learning more about how the investigation is unfolding and who was on board that plane. We have team coverage of the Bradley B-17 crash. Channel 3's Kevin Hogan spent the day monitoring the investigation. Channel 3's Susan Raff and Matthew Campbell are sharing more about some of those who lost their lives. We'll start with Kevin live in Windsor Locks. Go ahead, Kevin. Well, Denise, we can tell you the NTSB has plenty of data, records that they've been collecting on this B-17G, which was built in 1944. Now, the agency says since 1982, they've been investigating accidents of World War II vintage aircraft like this, like the B-17. Of those crashes, there have been 21 fatalities and one injury. Now, not including this latest crash. As you look at the live location, the NTSB has records and investigators are at the airfield searching for evidence. They know the B-17 landed 1,000 feet short of the runway, taking out 30 approach lights before veering towards the de-icing facility, striking it and catching fire. Airport cameras help identify that. We also obtained uh, an airport security video and uh, that was help helpful because we were able to determine from that uh, the time of impact between the airplane and the de-icing facility, which was at about 9.53 a.m. Now, the NTSB says this investigation will take some 7 to 10 days. We may not get the full report of the investigation from a year or 18 months from now. So what is the next step? Tomorrow, the NTSB plans on beginning to remove the wreckage, much of it still intact, uh, just some 2,000 feet from us. And they've also sampled from the, fusilla, from the uh, uh, fuel tanks uh, the fuel, the aviation fuel on board. They're having that tested. Live the Mobile News in Windsor Locks, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.